I'm Mike Roy. I'm the Technical Marketing Manager for vCloud Hybrid Service. And what I'd like to do today is talk a little bit about what the vCloud Hybrid Service is. We'll show you a little bit of a demo here and, uh, and hopefully that gives you a better understanding of what it is that we're offering. So with the vCloud Hybrid Service, uh, what we're offering is an infrastructure as a service platform built on VMware, run by VMware, uh, using the VMware technology. So it actually uses ESX, vSphere, and Cloud Director on it in order to leverage that technology all the way through the stack. So you essentially get lots of capacity that is instantly compatible with your internal data center in a public cloud context. So what we're showing here, for example, is the user access control. We have the ability to monitor and or manage different types of users using role-based access. So here we're taking a look at the different types of users. In this case, we're going to be creating an end user, or a Wiley Coyote end user here. And essentially, this gives us a lot more control than we previously had because not only do we have the ability to create users from a provisioning standpoint, but those users we can also actually specify to be able to purchase more resources and add new capacity to the cloud. So, it's more than just having someone who's an administrator. These folks could be account administrators who can actually go ahead and procure more physical capacity in order to run these workloads on in this hybrid context. One thing that we also got that's pretty amazing is the hybrid plugin. So what we have for this is actually the ability to view, operate, and consume the vCloud hybrid service workloads directly within vSphere. So here we have, for example, the workload inside or our, our, our view of the vCloud hybrid service directly within the vSphere client in the new next generation, the web client here. So within the same interface, you can manage your local VMs, manage your off-premise VMs, and migrate them back and forth uh, really seamlessly, really easily. Because it's all compatible, because it's all built on the VMware technology, really what it ends up being to you is tons of extra capacity that you can tack onto your internal data center, manage from the same interface, migrate your applications without having to rebuild those applications and tool them. One of the other interesting thing points is, with regarding to having to retool those applications is, our infrastructure is provide, provides a lot of layers of redundancy, both from the management and from the physical infrastructure side. So you don't actually need to develop your applications to work around failure. We take care of that at the infrastructure layer, which gives our developers the ability to go back and really focus on what they're good at, which is building good and beautiful applications. And let the infrastructure take care of it, let the infrastructure team manage that. That way the programmers really, like I said, can focus back on doing what they do best. So in a nutshell, that's what the vCloud hybrid service is. This is what it can provide for you. And we think that by being able to have a public cloud context that can be highly redundant, seamlessly integrated with a common management experience, a common networking experience, and even our support channel, one throat to choke, one phone number to call if you have any problems. Uh, we feel that this is the next wave of the future and how we want to move forward in this cloud space today.